Hi guys, so we are nearing the end of our book. This is chapter eight of Leroy Ninger Saddles Up. There's one more chapter that we will finish up next week. But this week, let's talk about our focus. So as you can see on your screen, our focus is these three letters, I, G, H. And these three letters you see kind of a lot. And I just wanted to go over it this week and remind you guys that we are not going to say each of these letters. These letters all belong together. When they are right next to each other, they are only going to make one sound. And that sound is I. So if you see I, G, H next to each other, you can kind of in your brain just cross out the G, H and just say the I. Let me show you what I mean. So in this word right here, we've got m i g h t, but that's not a word, right? So we see the I-G-H right here, I-G-H, and that's going to make one sound. I'm going to cross out the G-H, and it's going to say m i t m i t might. Okay, so this is like, I might go to the store today, or I might let you do that, okay? And then we've got this word, right. We've got that I-G-H, but we're not going to say the G-H. We're just going to say right, right, okay? So that is going to be our focus. And um, when, we left, uh, when we left Leroy, he had lost Maybelline. He went inside to get her an umbrella when it was raining. And when he came back out, she was gone. So she had run away, they were in the dark, he lost his lasso, he lost his hat, and Maybelline was lost, she didn't know where she was. So they're both kind of wandering around in the dark right now. So let's see what happens. Chapter 8. Leroy stood in a patch of mud. He looked down at his socks. They were very dirty. He looked up at the sky. He watched as the rain slowed to a trickle. The thunder grumbled and rumbled, and then slunk away. The last raindrop fell, and the world became very quiet. The sky was gray, but at the horizon there was the soul. And then we've got our I-G-H right here. So remember, we are not saying this G-H. We're going to cross it out. So we've got sly test, slightest, slightest. The sky was gray, but at the horizon there was the slightest hint of pink. Dawn is coming, said Leroy Ninker, and I do not have a hat or boots or a lasso or a horse. I don't even have an umbrella. I have nothing at all. Leroy watched the sun slowly rise. The orange ball of it glowed. Brr. And then we've got I-G-H. Cross out that G-H. We're just going to say the I. Brighter. Brighter. The orange ball of it glowed brighter and brighter. He shook his head sadly. He looked down at his muddy socks again. And then, in the pink and hopeful, we've got I-G-H. Cross out the G-H. Light, light. In the pink and hopeful light of dawn, Leroy noticed something in the dirt. He bent down and traced the shape that was imprinted in the mud. His heart thumped inside of him. yippee hi oh whispered Leroy Ninker to the hoofprint. He looked past the first hoofprint and saw there was a second one, and then a third. Maybelline, shouted Leroy Ninker. He followed the hoofprints. He started to run. He may not have had a hat or a lasso or boots, but he was tracking a horse. His horse. Maybelline was out there somewhere, and a cowboy named Leroy Ninker would find her. The horse was, indeed, out there somewhere. To be specific, she was three streets over. The horse was on Dekawoo Drive. Hmm, who do we know that lives on Dekawoo Drive? Do you guys remember? She was standing at the window of a house. She was watching a family sit down to breakfast. Wonderful, wonderful smells were coming from inside the house, and the family looked happy sitting together around the table. Maybelline put her nose very close to the window. She watched the family. She admired the food. And when she could not bear it any longer, she raised her head and called out, she whinnied long and loud. Leroy Ninker was following the hoofprints when he heard a sound that made him stop in his tracks. Leroy held himself very still. He listened. He heard birdsong and the low hum of a train. 
he heard the whoosh of car tires on wet pavement, and then he heard that beautiful, singular noise again. A whinny. A horse. His horse. Maybelline. Leroy ran in the direction of the whinny. Maybelline, he called out. I am on my way. He leaped over a bush. He ran around a bicycle. He climbed over a fence and into a backyard. And there was Maybelline. She was standing and looking in the window of a house. Maybelline, shouted Leroy. The horse turned and looked at him. She twisted her ears left and right. Both ears trembled, hopefully. It was obvious that she was waiting for some beautiful words. Leroy's throat felt tight. 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 Leroy's throat felt tight. He smiled. He spread his arms wide. Horse of my heart, he called out. Most wondrous, most glorious of all horses, I have missed you so. Maybelline nickered. She came trotting toward him. Leroy put his arms around her. He closed his eyes and leaned his head against her neck. He had done it. He had taken hold of fate with both hands and wrestled it to the ground. And he had done it without a lasso, without boots, without a hat. Oh, Maybelline, said Leroy Ninker. I have so many words I want to say to you. Leroy's eyes were still closed when he heard a voice say, Mister, is that your horse? All right, guys. So this is the end of chapter eight. We have one chapter left in our book, which we will read next week. So remember, as you guys are reading this week, if you see I-G-H, we are going to say I. Okay, we pretend that the G-H isn't even there and we just say I. All right, guys, go ahead and get some reading.